Now, ladies and gentlemen, CSGO's Twitter account the past couple of months has well been kind of sus. There's no other better way to explain it, based off the things they like, the people they respond to, but also how active they are on social media. Now, today, I think, is a pretty big deal breaker. They had a very lengthy post that all of a sudden just got deleted the past few minutes. And that's what I'm going to take a look at in today's video. Now, I'm not really thinking too much of this, and it wasn't really at the time, but the fact they deleted it, I think, says a lot. I'm going to relate this back to a tweet was during the World Cup that could have possibly be teased a brand new update and it seemed to be that was going to be an update but it never ended up happening but the difference is they never deleted the tweet and it's been two months so we're going to look over the tweet look over some of the responses they got give my thoughts and if something were to come when that could happen now today's video sponsor is of course skins monkey skins monkey is currently the easiest and also fastest way you can buy but most importantly trade your csgo skins all you have to do is make sure you have your trade link and on your first trade if you have a leftover balance it goes towards your current balance that can be used the next time you end up trading skins. It has three ways you can inspect, but most importantly has a very in-depth inspect feature that you can see corners on a Karamnit for an example that you can't really see otherwise unless you have the item in-game. If you end up topping up your balance, make sure to use promo code MANDO to get up to a 35% deposit bonus and a free $5 on the first trade. So on February 7th, that being today as of the video coming out at 3.10 p.m. and is now 5 o'clock, this tweet had 2,000 views at the time of me taking a screenshot, 172 likes, one quote tweet, and six retweets. Now I didn't think much of it because I've done stuff like this in the past. I decided to go work out and come back and make a video on it, or at least talk about it in CSGO News. But then I come to find that on their Twitter account, it's not there. It's just not there in the replies, not there in the tweets. They haven't liked anything towards that. And someone I know that responded to it was Adbrad. He's a streamer and content creator. Go check him out. But where this all started was Scrawny, a CSGO commentator and analyst, decided to put out a tweet during the Katowice event that's going on right now. He said, what if you plant slash defuse a bomb by punching in the code into your numpad? CSGO, get cooking. Now they replied to this and people were kind of going crazy. And at this point in time, I'm not sure exactly when this was deleted. I just know it was in the past couple of hours, probably very likely right after it happened. Now, what they replied to this tweet with was pretty weird. Crazy idea. Time, huh? Question mark. What if the C4 were live in any round? So if a CT shoots it prior to being planted, they immediately win the round. And what if T's could plant the bomb and shoot the C4 and detonate it, trading their lives immediately for a round win? And people were just going nuts, just like any other tweet they put out. But this one was just strangely in depth. Now, before I went out, I decided to record all the responses and this tweet just in case something were to be deleted or something were to be altered in the future. And well, I was pretty lucky on that. We got people say, what are you cooking? We got heroic tweeting at them, which this doesn't mean much. Pro teams always tweet CSGO or talk about them on their social media all the time about a new update. It doesn't really mean much. The same thing with pro players. We've had many talk about Source 2 coming soon, like ROPS. That never came to be. You got Vital CSGO replying to them for a what? Source 2 memes. Can a CT shoot the bomb once it's planted to immediately lose the round as well? Retake nades become wildly dangerous. Some people are saying W idea. Other people, and I'm kind of on the same side, this would be worse than an R8 update. And most people replying to this are kind of like cited, but also at the same time, like, what are you even talking about? This doesn't make much sense. Now, since this was deleted, I'm starting to think because of the negative feedback and responses, that's why. But it's also on a Tuesday. Really, any week now at this point, we're probably going to receive some sort of update. It's just a matter of time. Now, if this were to transfer into an update, I don't think it'd be very good. But what I first thought when they said this was if you shoot the bomb as a T or CT, maybe it explodes and the other team automatically wins the round. That would be kind of cool. And the idea of punching in the bomb codes, I think is a really bad idea because most people nowadays, I would say, have a keyboard without a numpad and the skill gap there for remembering the bomb code. Maybe it comes up on screen. You just have to type it in. I don't think that would go very well. Now, reasons why I don't think anything's going to happen over this is because CSGO at the very end of December, specifically on the 18th, put out a tweet during the World Cup and while well, got up a lot of attention, 29,000 likes, 1.3 million views. If CSGO had World Cup overtime, the match ends, players are separated into five 1v1 arenas based on their position on the scoreboard. Everyone spectates each 1v1 map. First team to win three out of the five wins the match. This is something that actually probably could happen. And I'm still thinking it might if they put it on an operation anytime soon. Now, I feel like at this point, I'm one of the only people with this footage, especially of some of these responses to this tweet, but I wouldn't think much of it, especially if someone talks about it later on in a video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think that whole idea of you shooting the bomb and it exploding, is that good? Is it bad? You think putting in the numbers for the bomb code, maybe after a certain rank is a good idea? Or would that kind of ruin the game and take you out of the moment? Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.